Shalom, Shalom, the brother Yahweh Shabbat. And let's go to Brother Street Keys and get the spirit and power of Yahweh, Alahaya Nawa, Bahashem, Hamashiach, Yahweh Shah, and the double honor to my elders and apostles of Great Millstone, which is the new world of the scriptures, and these blessings for the hope of the elect. So, yeah, man, today, uh, you know, out here, man, through the spirit, so we just going to flow through the spirit and speak on, you know, certain things that have been going on. You know, prophecy is taking place. You know, we're at the end of this man's kingdom, and he knows that. So he's about to start coming down with great wrath, man. As a matter of fact, you know, speaking on that, we'll get uh, we'll start on Revelation 12 and 12. You know, so pretty much, man, uh, uh, Esau coming down, which Esau is the spiritual demon, uh, Salak, he's not the spiritual demon, say. You have the spiritual demon Satan, and you have basically his earthly children and his earthly counterparts. And these so-called white people, you are you are the devil, man, that the scriptures speak about. You know, and it's the truth. You know, and hey, the truth is always gonna ruffle feathers, but the truth has to be put out there. You know, and we hey, we as the men of the Lord, man, we can't be scared to put it out there, man. This is Revelation 12 and 12. Therefore rejoice ye heavens. And ye that dwell in them, woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea. For the devil has come down unto you having great wrath, because he knoweth that he hath but a short time. So Esau realizing that he has a short time, he's going to speed up and re uh, re implement these lockdowns. He's going to re implement, you know, um, certain draconian laws that are going to make things harder around here, man. You know? If you haven't heard, uh, Ohio, Washington, D.C., and that up in that area, I believe up in New York, you know, they've had a, a spread of this new COVID-19, uh, not COVID-19, it's a new variant, you know what I'm saying? You know, so it's a new COVID variant, and it's it's been spread, you know, according to uh, the news out there, so I don't want Esau to strike my video, man. I'm just putting back out there what has been said. You know, we got to be very careful of what we say. Hey man, and you know, uh, that's 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 nothing but the family of the word, man. You know, brothers aren't able to be as blunt about certain topics or certain truths, you know, as we used to be. You know what I'm saying? And that's because, hey man, this truth is pissing Esau off. It's pissing off the elites, you know. And eventually, uh, speaking the Bible or speaking truth in any form against, you know, the powers that be is gonna be labeled as hate speech. Most of it already is, you know, hey, man, they going back and striking videos from two or three, four years ago. You know, eventually they just going to take whole channels down. They're just going to take, you know, the truth off of YouTube, period. You know, this is Amos 8 and 11. Behold, the days come, saith Yahweh Power, that I will send a famine in the land, not a famine of bread nor a thirst for water, but of hearing the words of the Lord. You know, over there in uh, Finland, recently, you know, they they just ba basically started prosecuting people and labeling people who quote scriptures as being uh, terrorists, and, and they they're labeling it as hate speech. You know, so how long before that hits uh, 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 Babylon, man? It won't be long. You know, you're not gonna be able to go into these churches, which the truth ain't in these churches anyway. No, but you're not going to be able to hear the words of the Lord, man. People are not going to be able to, and more importantly, the prophets are not going to be able to come out here in a public setting and uh, speak the truth by way of the Holy Scriptures. That's going to be taken away with, man. You know, the Lord is going to hide his men, you know, and he's going to take care of his men during that time. But, hey, during that time of the family of the word, that's when people are going to start wanting to, you know, uh, uh, seek the Lord, man. But the Lord's going to be the head of his face already. You know, that's why the scriptures tell you to seek ye the Lord while he may be found. You know, right now, man, you can find the epistles. Hell, you can find uh, a slew of old lessons on daily motion, YouTube, of the apostles. Certain things and breakdowns are still available, but they won't always be available, man. You know, so, hey, even us brothers in the truth, you know, we got to um, we gotta get what we can while we can. Know as far as the oil. This is Amos 8 and 12. And they shall wander from sea to sea, and from the north even to the east, 
they shall run to and fro to seek the word of the Lord and shall not find it. And also, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah is going to hide his face, which his face is these words. You know? You know, it's been a lot of, uh, I don't know if brothers probably have seen it, but, you know, Eve got, got basically busting her shit, man, with a brick. <laughs> you know? And, uh, it's a viral video of a woman going around slapping a guy in the face and basically commending uh, uh, women for being sodomites. You know, she's a sodomite herself. You know, and she was basically talking about how we don't need men and men aren't needed. And, you know, basically with that, she was pushing that whole feminism vibe, man. You know, hey, man, the Lord judged us, judged our ass, man. You know, you got your ass hit in the face with a brick. And then, you know, her whole thing was, there were men around and nobody did anything. Well, I thought you didn't need men. I thought men aren't important. You know, men built the streets that women walk on. That building right there across the street, you know, which has got Flagstar, used to be Wells Fargo, et cetera, et cetera. Men built that. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, that whole idea of feminism is bullshit. Hey, women need men and men need women, but... Uh, women need men more than we need women. Don't let that go over your head, you know? You got to think about it, man. Uh, when we go into Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the Israelite woman came from them, you know? So, it, the, the, you know, there's no such thing as, as, as far as the scriptures dealing with a matriarchy. You know, I always ask people, you know, well, what is your genealogy? What's your, what not, not your genealogy? What's your nationality? You know, and they'll always bring up their mother. You know, your nationality isn't decided by who your mother is. So if your mother's German and your father is Russian, it doesn't matter what your mother is, man. Your father is Russian, so you're a Russian. You know, and I'm just using that as an example. You know, people downplay the scriptures a whole lot, man. You know, uh, uh, pretty much the scriptures is the most valuable knowledge here on earth. You know, and one of our former U.S. presidents, you know, uh, Theodore Roosevelt, he was quoted saying that a thorough knowledge of the, uh, a thorough understanding of the, of the Bible is worth more than a college education. You know, so if you really know these scriptures, man, hey, man, you above people, you know, you know more than people who go to college for years and years. You know, the scriptures tell you, man, that Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah tells you in the scriptures. You know, the, the knowledge of this world is foolishness with the most high. You know, so, hey, man, you know, you can't learn these scriptures by going to school. You know, you have to learn these scriptures, you know, by being taught by a man of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, a man whom the spirit of the Lord is resting upon. You know, but knowing and understanding these scriptures, especially for you Israelite men, for you so-called Negro, Latino, and Native American men, no, hey, because the Lord is dealing with me, and when it comes to teaching His Word and being into His Word, man, ain't no, ain't no such thing as a woman in the truth. That's all bullshit, you know. You know, hey, man, the only time a, a woman should be learning is from her husband. Now, you know, you sisters out there that don't have a husband, if you watch the videos, that's cool, that's okay. But you know, the moment you get a man, you know, you need to it, it see, hey, hey, you need to be trying to put him on to the to the word, man, so that he can learn and teach you. You know, the scriptures do talk about the unbelieving wife and the unbelieving husband. You know, so you will have instances like that. You know, but hey, man, the Lord said his flock, the flock of his pastor, are men. You know, and, and, and in particular, the Israelite man. You know, so if you are part of another nation. Whether you be an Edomite, a Moabite, an Ammonite, whatever, man, according to the scriptures. You know, you can't go into this word, man, unless you are of the nation of Israel, unless you are of that stock. Because the Lord didn't give his law, statutes, and commandments to the rest of the nations. He gave them to his nation and his nation only. Book of Psalms 147, the 147th chapter, the 19th verse. He sheweth his word 
unto Jacob, his statutes and his judgment unto Israel. He hath not dealt so with any nation. And as for his judgments, they have not known them. Praise ye the Lord. You know, even uh, two to two thirds, man, they not into this truth and they are denying their heritage, you know, to this day. But there are certain things that you will see us as the Israelites, you know, hey, even Jake that ain't in the truth, man. They know not to eat no meat with no fucking blood in it, man. You know, there's certain things that Jake don't do because it's just in our nature not to do it. Even though they might, hey, the Lord's still going to do away with them. You know what I'm saying? You know, they, they probably, you know, uh, don't believe in the, in the fact that we're Israelites. They don't believe in Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh, Shah, but there's certain things that they're going to do by nature that still separates them from the other nations. <coughs> No, so the Lord ain't dealing with all nations, man. You know, it's certain, uh, uh, you know, things that they teach you in the Christian church, in the Catholic church, the Baptist church, whatever, man. You know, and then you got all these denominations of Christianity when there is only one truth, you know. Hey, the Lord ain't, uh, the, the Lord is not the author of confusion. You know, either you an Israelite or you not, man. And, hey, either the Lord is dealing with you and you have the right doctrine or you don't. It ain't many different doctrines out there, even though it might be a, it's a lot of different Israelite camps. You know, but we don't all teach the same things, man. And we don't all, you know, um, there's only one group that has the 100% truth, you know. And that's GMS, man. But uh, this, is a, this is Amos 3 and uh, verse 1. Hear this word that Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai have spoken against you, O children of Israel, against the whole family which I brought up from the land of Egypt, saying, You only have I known of all the families of the earth. Therefore, I will punish you for all your iniquity. Yeah, you know, so, hey, man, there you have it, man. The Heavenly Father said the nation of Israel is the only a uh, nation he's known out of all the families of the earth. So, you know, dealing with people that say that the Old Testament is, is null and void or that, you know, you're not supposed to deal with the Old Testament. They they are not knowing the scriptures. People that say those things. You know, there are prophecies that are still coming to pass and that haven't come to pass that are in the Old Testament. You know, so the Old Testament is still a very, very valid part of the scriptures, man. Hey, as, as in fact, you know, if you, as a matter of fact, you know, I got a, I got a precept I want to grab on, on speaking on that. We deal with the Old Testament and the New Testament. That's if you, uh, you know, if the Lord is dealing with you. You know, but if he not, you're probably one of those Old Testament only Israelites, a, a Christian that only deals with certain parts of the New Testament. Hey, because the Lord said that uh, he came not to do away with the law nor the prophets, but to fulfill them. That's the one you ignorantly know is Jesus Christ, which his name is Yahweh Shai in the Hebrew, man. You know, he didn't come to do away with the law nor the prophets. You know, so people that teach that nonsense. Hey, and you got people that went to, to seminary schools to teach the scriptures and they still jump over that or they just act like that scripture doesn't exist. It's in red, man. So if you're missing it, you're missing it on purpose, you know. Yeah, so this is Isaiah chapter 8 and verse 20. To the law and to the testimony, if they speak not according to this word, it is because there is no light in them. You know, so if you're not dealing with the Apocrypha, the Old Testament and the New Testament, there is no light in you, man. You know, you got IUSTK. They telling people to get go to the doctor and get vaccine. They telling you to take psych meds and all of this other bullshit, man. Hey, when Yahweh Shah was on earth, walking around and healing people and doing miracles, was he telling people to take psych meds or was he hearing, was he was he just healing through the spirit, man? You know? Hey, man, so you got to watch these other Israelite camps. A lot of them have been paid off. Man, a lot of these other Israelite camps have been paid off, man. You know, and they're not preparing the knowledge for the sheep so that the sheep can take refuge 
hey, through the spirit and power, Yahweh Bashin Yahweh Shah, through the knowledge, man. You know, because just simply knowing the names ain't going to be enough. You know, the Lord's going to have to have a certain spirit on you, especially the brothers who are in this truth. The Lord's going to have to put a certain spirit on you for you to get through Jacob's trouble, man. That's going to be the worst time that there ever was on earth. You know, so that means it's going to be worse than slavery. It's going to be worse than, than any captivity we've ever been through. You know, so the Lord's going to have to have a certain spirit on you for you to be able to get through that, man. Now, it might be some days you might not eat. You're not going to need, I, I can guarantee, you know, the Lord going to feed his men, but we're not going to eat three meals a day during Jacob's trouble. Sometimes you might have to skip a day. That's why, brothers, you know, hey, fasting is important, even if you intimate fast. You know, eventually, you know, we're going to go through things where, you know, hey, we might have to skip a few meals. But the Lord going to make sure to sustain us and to take care of us during those times, man. You know, so, you know, not to put a worrying spirit on, brothers, because the Lord has not given us the spirit of fear. You know, hey, man, I'm, I'm one individual. You know, and even for brothers out there that, you know, they in uh, camps. Hey, man, it takes a, 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 a courageous spirit to come out here, man, and to speak against the establishment that we still live under, you know? But like I said, man, the Lord has not given us the spirit of fear, man, but a strength and a sound mind. Roughly paraphrasing that scripture. I forgot what I was getting ready to get into. Uh, you know, there's a couple of things I've been wanting to touch on, but, you know, I'm real willing to not get too much through the spirit, and if I don't, you know, say before lesson or for next time the next week teaching but this is isaiah 33 and 6 and wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy time and strength of salvation the fear of the lord is his treasure hey you know if you fear the lord man the lord's gonna open you up to this wisdom and like the scripture said you know wisdom and knowledge shall be the strength and stability of thy time you know so you know you knowing what's going on man that's what's going to uh, protect you, you know, and, and, and in the sense that, you know, hey, if you don't know these scriptures, if you don't know what's going on, how can you have a sound mind? You know, knowing your scriptures, man, and, and, and reading and being into the, you know, to the lessons that are being put out there by the elders, uh, by the apostles and elders of GMS and other brothers, but that's going to keep you on game, you know, because, you know, when you, when you can comfort yourself through the scriptures, man, hey, you know, the apostles, man, and the disciples, you know, how do you think they were self-soothing themselves in certain rough situations? The scriptures, you know, when Satan was tempting Yahweh Shai, how did he fight? Uh, how did Yahweh Shai fight off Satan, man, by way of the scriptures, man? You know? So this word is a very, very powerful thing. You know, knowing this word, being able to teach it, and being able to, you know, take it in. You know, and the Lord, uh, you know, allowing you to understand what you what you're reading. You know what I'm saying? That's that's a beautiful thing, and it's a, a form of spiritual power. This is Hebrews four and twelve. For the word of Yahweh Bashi Yahushai is quick and powerful, and sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the dividing asunder of soul and spirit and of the joints and marrow and is a discerner of the thoughts and intents of the heart. You know, so, hey, man, if you want a psychic ability <laughs> or you want spiritual power, psychic ability, I'm just using that as an example. You know, hey, man, um, like I said, man, hey, having this word embodied in you is a form of spiritual power. We ain't got the spiritual power yet, but we do know that certain men are going to be given, you know, uh, 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 the Lord's going to lift that standard up for certain men. You know, certain brothers who are in this truth. You know, but right now, we are he's already lifting that standard up by, you know, putting his words, you know, back into the Israelite man. You know, because we are the kingdom of heaven. You know, the Israelite man embodying this truth. You know what I'm saying? The kingdom of heaven is, is within us through the knowledge. You know, but... Hey, man, uh, like I said, man, you know, two-thirds of our people, they not going to get it. You know what I'm saying? And the Lord don't want them to get it. 
You know, you can sit down and break these scriptures down for hours and hours, man. You know what I'm saying? And if the Lord got that spirit blocking them from understanding, they not going to get it, man. That just means he don't want them to. You know, everybody ain't going to make it contrary to what other camps do. You know, the Lord ain't dealing with the whole nation of Israel, man. He's dealing with, uh, you know, the Lord is dealing with a remnant. This is Romans 11 and 7. What then? Israel have not obtained that which he seeketh for, but the election have obtained it, and the rest were blinded. Hey, so the Lord only cares about the elect, man. So all you other camps out there pushing, we got to wake Israel up. We all about Israel. Well, what about the elect? You know? How can you care about the nation more than Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh Shah himself cares about the nation? You know what I'm saying? That's why I say, man, you know, you got to check the doctrine, man. Anything that you hear being taught, you got to study to show yourself a fool. Don't just take anybody's word for it, man. If somebody brings out a, a, a historical fact and bases it off the scriptures, you got to go back and check that. If somebody brings out a certain precept, you got to check that for yourself. Because, you know, some of these camps out here are set up to mislead you. You know? That's why we always push that, hey, you know, the, the, the apostles... The doctrine that they received through the spirit and power of Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai, that's the true doctrine. That's the 100% truth. You know, and if you're getting this from anybody else that ain't teaching that doctrine that the apostles, you know, received from Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai, then you're probably being misled, man. You know? Yeah, man, you know, Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai is dealing with a remnant. He's not dealing with the whole nation. Hey, you think Sexy Red is a part of the elect? You think Suki Hana and Webby and Boosie are a part of the elect? You out of your damn mind. You know, and Boosie wondering why he going through so much shit. He literally flipped the most high off, man. You know, made mockery of the Lord, man. And basically concerning pork, eating pork, he said, I'm going to eat whatever the hell I want to eat. Hey, well, the Lord going to kill you whenever he want to kill your ass, man. You know, the most high ain't nothing to play with. And as you can see, there are certain judgments going on throughout the earth. Hey, the Lord is, is, is you know, getting his getting his name back, man. You know, people have forgotten. Uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, the, the, the Most High has a he, which the Most High has a title. The, the, the Lord's name is Yahweh, and his son's name is Yahweh Shai in the Hebrew. It's not Yahweh or Yeshua or none of that, man. You know. And uh, dealing with that, man, you know, uh, the Heavenly Father has a title named Alashaiza, you know, Almighty Power. Hey, the Lord ain't nothing to play with, man. The Heavenly Father uh, 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 is still up there on his throne. Yahweh Shai is sitting on his right hand, you know, and he hasn't forgotten his people, you know, because the scriptures tell you how the Lord is not going to be remembered for delivering us from Egypt. He's going to get a name for delivering us from, from the north from the land of the north, man, which is where we are right now, you know, and Esau knows who certain brothers are, man, he knows who the Israelites are, you know what I'm saying, and of course, the demonization and the discredit, the discrediting, I mean, the discrediting, you know, that's gonna happen, that's gonna come, but it is what it is, man, that's prophecy as well, you know, when they start uh, uh, coming down on the men of the Lord, locking us up, putting certain of us, certain of us to death, hey, man, that's, that's, Nothing to be sad about, man. Because when those things start happening, you know, we know our salvation is not. And we already see in the chariots, which are so-called UFOs. Hey, man, Esau knows it ain't no little green men flying in those spaceships. What uh, uh, certain uh, people from NASA, you know, certain, uh, certain people in high places, I would say, when they speak about what they see, in these UFOs, they said that they've seen so-called, what looked like so-called black men that were very, very tall. You know, you can look it up on YouTube, you know. When in doubt, pull Google out. You know what I'm saying? This is the information age, man. And pretty much, this devil is showing his fucking horns. They not hiding most of the shit that they used to hide and be subtle about. They not being subtle about wickedness anymore, man. You know, since when has it been all right to push for pedophiles to have fucking uh, uh, rights. You know what I'm saying? You know? 
hey, a drug dealer gets a harsher sentence than pedophiles do. And that's a goddamn shame, man. So there, in, in America, in Babylon, there is no such thing as justice. That's all bullshit. They give who they want a pass, man. And they give, uh, the, basically, they give the wickedest people a pass in these courthouses. So justice don't exist, you know? Hey, man, uh, all those people who are associated with uh, Epstein, have you seen or heard of any of them being arrested or being tried in court? Hell no, man, because money talks. You know, just like how Bill Gates can give medical uh, uh, advice or financial advice or, you know, political advice on certain things. You know, he has no degrees or, or you know, um, he's not credited in any of these areas, yet we're listening to this man. You know, which, like I said, I can't go all into it like I want to. You know, because YouTube is is, is pretty much censoring speech as we uh, uh, as we speak. You know, so hey man, they not hiding this shit no more. Like what happened in Maui? How is it that Bill Gates' house didn't get burnt to a fucking crisp? How is Oprah's house still standing tall? You know, hey, let's not be ignorant of Satan's devices, man. The same thing that happened in Paradise, California is the same thing that happened in Maui. They have direct energy weapons, you know? Hey man, so this so-called white man, he's playing with some, 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 some shit that you probably would only see in movies. But no, it exists in real life, you know? So everybody ought to be telling their conspiracy theorist friends, giving them an apology because they're not hiding this anymore. They pretty much uh, highlighted the areas that they didn't want burnt, didn't want burned up, and those areas did not get touched. Yet we have uh, what thousands of people that are being pretty much displaced. And Biden says that you know for the people in Maui we have a one-time seven hundred dollar payment. What the hell is that gonna do? You know. So these people are showing their horns, man. You know, and if you claim to be a uh, you know, if you claim to have any knowledge of what goes on politically, and if you don't think that the rich control your uh, politicians, then you don't know anything about politics. Hey, Putin came out and basically said, hey, the presidents are going to change every four years or whatever, you know, but the people who are really in power stay in power. He knew exactly what the hell he was talking about. You know, all your politicians, they're bought. And paid for it. You know what I'm saying? You know, and if you're a so called Negro, Latino, or Native American, hey, America has never been scheduled for you, and you have no uh, business putting in a vote for any of these characters. You know, because you're the, you're the, the Israelites that the scriptures speak about. That's, that's becoming pretty much, you know, uh, uh, common knowledge as well, man. You know, it's not something that's hid anymore, it's being put on the forefront. And many people, whether you be a regular person or whether you be a celebrity or whatever, people have knowledge of that, man. You know, the truth is, 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 is actually at a state where it's flourishing, which that coincides with the downfall of this place. The more you see the truth take root and flourish, you know, hey, the, the more this place is going to continue to go down on the downward slope. This place is wicked as hell, man. You know, you know, it's one thing for an adult to decide to be, you know, to engage inside of me or whatever they want to do or whatever, man, which I don't agree with. It is completely and totally against the scriptures and Sodom and Gomorrah was destroyed for it. So hell no, I don't agree with it. It's, it's completely and, and utterly wrong. But, you know, when you start pushing that on kids, hey, this place got to go, man. You think the Lord going to continue to let this bullshit take place? No. He didn't allow Sodom and Gomorrah to engage in it for that long. And uh, America is next. Because this ain't nothing but Sodom and Gomorrah 2.0, man. This place is worse than Sodom and Gomorrah. You know? Hey, like the scriptures tell you, folly is set in great dignity. And the rich sit in low place. Why are we giving women like Sexy Red and Suki Hana a platform? Because we can say, yeah, black women are trash. No, man, they put who's paying them? To push that image out, the same people who paid uh to, to uh, who pay NBA young boy to push out gangster rap, you know. The, the, those same people who are in charge 
are giving these wicked individuals a platform to push out that poison on the rest of the populace. You know, those are, and, and we know who, who controls the, 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 the music industry and, uh, you know, Hollywood. I ain't got to say no names or go into it. You know, the information is out there. You got to ask yourself, why would they want, you know, uh, uh, people to, 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 to engage in this type of fucking debauchery? You know? Hey, man, this place got to go. Knowing you Israelite women, you are in trouble, man. You know what I'm saying? You know, pretty soon all your government assistance is going to be taken away from you. You know? That shoulder that you use the so-called white man to lean on, he going to snatch it away real soon. You know what I'm saying? The Israelite man, I mean, the Israelite woman has been tricked into helping to destroy the Israelite man. Hey, man, and, and you know, it's a reason why if you're a so-called black man and you, you know, you're into fitness, you know, uh, uh, you have a strong, a strong body equals a strong mind. You know, why do you think they want everybody fat and sloppy? Because if you are, uh, you know, engaged in eating all of these food slash drugs, which, you know, that's why it's called the FDA Food and Drug Administration. You know, most of your food is drugs. It's drugs in your food. It's uh, prescription drugs in your tap water, man. You know, it's a reason why they want everybody dumbed down. It's a reason why they want everybody, you know, especially men. They want you docile and weak. Because if you're docile and weak, you're not going to stand up for yourself. You're not going to stand up for nothing. You know, and you're going to fall for pretty much any and everything. But, you know, getting on you women, man. Hey, this place is on its way out. You know, they're going to, and pretty soon, you won't see UN troops on U.S. soil. Hey, and I can't wait, man. You know, because they're going to put a foot up a lot of the ass. They're going to put up, they're going to put a foot up. The so-called black woman's ass, man. They gonna put a foot up two thirds of that, two thirds of, uh, uh, of you so-called Negroes and Latino, uh, Latinos and Native Americans. You know, the Lord is going to use the so-called white man and these other nations to uh, 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 execute judgment, man. You know, Salaki, I was stumbling over my words a little bit, but you know, this is Isaiah 32 and nine. Rise up, ye women that are at ease. Hear my voice, ye careless daughters. Give ear unto my speech. Many days and years shall ye be troubled, ye careless women, for the vintage shall fail, the gathering shall not come. Tremble, ye women that are at ease. Be troubled, ye careless ones. Strip you and make you bare and gird sackcloth upon your loins. Hey, man, uh, when you look at women, they're pretty much in a very, very comfortable state, man, especially the so-called black woman, you know, because if she don't want to work, she can... Uh, uh, sh you know, uh, sh show herself out sexually on Instagram or OnlyFans or whatever. You know, hey, this society rewards you for whoredom. You know what I'm saying? But the Lord is, hey, the how about she outside is going to punish the Israelite woman for that same whoredom that she's being awarded for right now in just a short time, man. You got to think, once uh, martial law gets implemented, hey. They're going to implement it because they're going to create chaos that allows them to implement martial law. During that chaos, man, a lot of shit's going to happen. You know what I'm saying? You're not going to be able to call the police because your phone ain't going to work. You know? Hey, man, like I like to bring this out all the time. When chaos happens, everybody is going to be worried about themselves. The police ain't going to be worried about helping you. They're going to be worried about their own family. You know, the firefighters, they going to go home. You know what I'm saying? You know, and you in troops, if you don't know what they do when they go and occupy certain lands, uh, uh, you know, when they're commissioned to do so by the UN, you know, look, at what, look into what they do to women and children in particular. I'm not going to bring it out because this is pretty much, it's, 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 you know, it's common knowledge, man. You know, there's articles out there about what goes on. So the Lord is getting ready to destroy this place. You know? Let's 
second half of the game in the chapter because this is what's pretty much going to This is what, 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 what America is headed for, man, what Babylon the Great is headed for. Nothing but famine, death, and destruction, man. This is second edge, it's 15 and 1. Behold, speak thou in the ears of my people the words of prophecy, which I will put in thy mouth, saith the Lord. Hey, so when we come out here and teach, man, we're not doing this of our own accord. You know, as a matter of fact, when you see a brother fall out of the truth or they fall off, it's because the Spirit of the Lord has, uh, you know, been removed from them. You know, so... The way that we, we get out here, man, and we can go into these scriptures and these prophecies is through the Rapak Wadash, through the Holy Spirit, man. It says, and cause them to be written in paper, for they are faithful and true. You know, so the prophets, Ezra, Isaiah, um, you know, uh, 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 Ezekiel, just to name a few. You know, the Heavenly Father gave them the word and commissioned them to write these books. So, you know, they were, uh, you know, uh, the, help, the Holy Spirit moved them to speak what they spoke. So was it really them speaking? Was it was, uh, Whose words are these? These, these are, the, are the Heavenly Father, Yahweh's words, man. No, Yahweh Bashan, Yahweh Shai. Hey, because Yahweh Shai tells you, I come in the volume of the book, it is written of me. You know, this is... Uh, Second as is 15 and 3. Fear not the imaginations against thee. Let not the incredulity of them trouble thee that speak against thee. For all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness. Behold, saith the Lord, I will bring plagues upon the world, upon the world, the sword, famine, death, and destruction. Amen. So that's what's on the horizon. For wickedness hath exceedingly polluted the whole earth. And their hurtful works are fulfilled. Therefore, saith the Lord, I will hold my tongue no more as touching their wickedness, which they profanely commit. Neither will I suffer them in those things in which they wickedly exercise themselves. Behold, the innocent and righteous blood crieth unto me, and the souls of the just in plain continually. Hey, Amen. Who are the souls of the just, man? That's the elect, man. The one third. You know? Ready to get the hell out of here, man. Sighing and crying. Know, what the so-called white man has done with his rulership is, uh, you know, completely and utterly kill, steal, and destroy. That's his M.O. That's what he does. That's what they do when they go to other countries, and that's what they did to the so-called Native Americans and Seminoles when they came over here, man. You know, y'all might not, you know, y'all don't want to hear this truth, you know, going out, and that's understandable. You know what I'm saying? It, it probably irritates the hell out of y'all, man. But it irritates me to see y'all walking freely on this land that you stole because it's not yours. You weren't here first, you know, and you've removed a lot of ancient landmarks and you've, uh, you know, stolen the identity of a lot of different people, man. You know, the tribe of Judah, uh, uh, the tribe of Gad and Reuben, you know what I'm saying? You know, that's what they do. They steal people's identity. You know, when you go into history, uh, the so-called Hawaiians and Samoans, those are the original people of Greece. When you look into, you know, those ancient artifacts, the, the ancient people of Greece were actually dark-skinned. You know, which, when you talk about like somebody like Roman Reigns or uh, Dwayne The Rock Johnson, those are Israelites that are scattered amongst Jackson. You know what I'm saying? Because if you can't tell that those guys got the spirit of Israelites, hey, the Lord ain't with you, man. <laughs> you know, Dwayne The Rock Johnson is an Israelite. Roman Reigns and the Usos are Israelites, man. You know? You know what I'm saying? I, I still watch a little bit of WWE from time to time. But, you know, my point is, the original people of Greece and Rome were uh, of a dark skin. It's dark skin color. You know what I'm saying? They weren't Israelites, but they were dark skinned. You know, or, or, or kind of a dark brown color. When you look at ancient artifacts, you'll see that. You know, but what happened was when Alexander the Great and his father, Philip the Macedonian, came into power, you know, Edom pushed those people out of that land and they became those people. You know? But some of these people, man, they walk around and they like, well, I'm Native American. And it's like, 
you know, no, you're an Edomite. <laughs> you're not Native American. Like, you know, your, your people, you know, your forefathers probably stole the identity of the Native American during that whole $5 Indian thing, you know, which, hey, man, you had the federal government actually granting, you know, certain rights and certain, uh, uh, certain reparations, if you will, that was supposed that was that was supposed to be given to the so-called Native Americans, the Seminoles. Well, they were selling their identities uh, 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 to Edomites, you know, and that's why you have a lot of white people that say that you know they got Native American in them. No, you don't, man. The Native Americans were dark skinned. The Seminoles were dark skinned, man. You know, when you go into certain Smithsonian museums and things of that nature, you'll see that. And like I say, man, I bring this out a lot, man. You know. Gad is walking around here right now. The so-called Native Americans are walking around here right now and they think that they're black or Negro because in the 1600s, they had their identity taken from them and they were classified as black or Negro. You can look this up. You know, there's facts on it, man. You know, so like I always say, man, you are, a lot of Gadite brothers come into the truth and they think they do it. You know, and then, you know, one of the elders or one of the apostles, they might be one of the elders and one of the apostles, and they'll tell them, nah, brother, you a Gadite. You know, you a Reubenite. You know what I'm saying? You know? You know, uh, which King, bringing up King Von. He was a wicked ass nigga. You know what I'm saying? That, that, that was, you know, his music was pushed on the industry. You know what I'm saying? And, um, you know, he passed about three years ago. But that's a Gadite, man. You know, you look at his cheekbones. You look at his spatial structure, like you can tell um, a brother that's a Benjamite, certain of them have certain bone structures, man. You know what I'm saying? That, you know, you can just like, you know, I kind of just kind of got that gift of discernment. You know what I'm saying? Where I can kind of tell, hey, brother, you a Gadite or you a Reubenite. You know what I'm saying? Or, or you, know, you know, you can just kind of tell when, when a brother's a Benjamite or a Levite. You know, you can tell, certain, you know, I just kind of got a gift that I can tell. You know, you got to think, man, Levi was scattered throughout all the tribes, man, on top of being scattered throughout the four corners of the earth. You know, so it's Levites everywhere. <laughs> you know? Like I said, man, you know, um, I'm going to keep reading. Back in 2nd Matthew, the 15th chapter. And therefore, this is 2nd Matthew 15 and 9. And therefore, saith the Lord, I will surely avenge them and receive unto me all the innocent blood from among them. Behold, my people is led as a flock to the slaughter. I will not suffer them now to dwell in the land of Egypt. And that's where we are, man. This is spiritual Sodom in Egypt, pursuant to Revelation 11 and 8. It says, but I will bring them with a mighty hand and a stretched out arm and smite Egypt with plagues as before, and will destroy all the land thereof. Egypt shall mourn, and the foundation thereof. Egypt shall mourn, shall mourn, and the foundation of it shall be smitten with the plague and punishment that Yahweh Bashem Yahweh shall bring upon it. Let's skip down to verse 15. Well, actually, I'm going to skip down to verse 14. Woe to the world and them that dwell therein, for the sword and their destruction draw nigh. And one people shall stand up and fight against another, and swords in their hand. For, thou sh for there shall be sedition among men and invading one another. They shall not regard their kings nor princes, and the course of their actions shall stand in their power. So we're heading into a very chaotic time. You know, people aren't going to be listening to government officials or police. When all hell breaks loose, all hell is going to break loose, literally, you know? And, like, the only way you can really describe it is if you compare it to certain movies that have been put out there, like The Road. That's a good movie. You know what I'm saying? It's an excellent movie, actually. Uh, you have The Book of Eli. You know, you have other uh, post-apocalyptic movies that kind of give you, you know, a good point of view of what things are going to be like, man. You got to think. And that time, you ain't going to hear no woman walking around here talking about, oh, I'm independent. I don't need no man. No, they're going to be begging to get with men. And particularly, they're going to be begging to get with the men of the Lord, man. You know, Isaiah 4 and 1 goes into that. 
You know, so you brothers out there, man, hey, if you ain't got a woman right now, don't worry about it, man. Focus on this word, man. Focus on keeping your crown because that's a hard enough job as it is. You know, for you brothers that got women, that's cool. You know, but if you a brother out there, man, you ain't got no woman, man, hey, the Lord is literally just protecting you, man. These women ain't shit, especially the Israelite woman. Shit, she ain't worth a damn right now. If you do go for a woman, hey, man, you better get you a, uh, just get you a heathen, man. You know, and pop her. If she cool, y'all, you know, y'all deal with each other, whatever, whatever, man. But, you know, uh, heathen women, we can't marry the heathen woman. You know what I'm saying? So it probably would be wiser to just deal with one of them. You know, but like I said, man, the Israelite woman is just sleepy and utterly out of order. And Sexy Red and Suki Hana and Glorilla and all of those women, you know, that are put to the forefront as far as fame goes, hey, man, the Lord going to destroy all of them. You know what I'm saying? When you look at, when you think about tattoos, right? Tattoos were something that were reserved for warriors, for men who might have have have, have been through something. Now, if you're an Israelite man, the law commands you that you don't, you're not supposed to get any cuttings in your flesh for the dead, so you shouldn't have um tattoos. But you know, you think about it, man. These women, they running around here tattooed from head to toe. That's very very masculine. You know what I'm saying? You know, if you are, if you a man of understanding, why would you want a woman that smokes anything? Why would you want a woman that that that, that is into getting tattooed? That's a rough ass bitch, man. That ain't a woman. You know? Hey, man, and, and, and you know, when we get when 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 your comes back and establishes order on the earth, because right now there is no order. When your comes back and establishes order on the earth. Women ain't gonna be getting no fucking tattoos. You're not gonna be talking back to your husband. No, you're not gonna hear that phrase, well, happy wife, happy life. No, man. Happy husband, happy life. You know, hey, this place is upside down. You know, and that's the so called white man that pushes that sissy ass shit, man. You know, that's them with that bullshit. Hey, man, and then for now, I use sissy for lack of better words. That effeminate ass spirit came from these so-called white men because you know ain't no reason why hey the, 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 the so-called black woman has she bit that eat she bit that apple man she bit in she fed into into the so-called white man's doctrine that's why when you get with a so-called black woman and you talk about getting another wife she gonna what she gonna bug all the way up on you man no but our women wasn't in that mindset before we were brought over here into captivity you know, and it's perfectly fine for a man to have two women or two wives that he takes care of. Now, I ain't saying you can be out here and just have a woman. If you're going to have another woman, man, you got to take care of both of them. And that's according to the law. You know, you got to feed them, clothe them or whatever, you know. But, you know, like, that's like I said, man, the Israelite woman is completely bugged the hell out right now. You know what I'm saying? And if you get with one of them, you're going to deal with the most bullshit, man. That's where your problems are going to come from. That's why every every every, every take I've seen with a so-called white woman, with a sheet of mite, they be happy. You know what I'm saying? They don't be walking around here all frowned up. <laughs> you know, Jake, they got Eve at home, man. They sit in the car for fucking 10, 15 minutes when they get off of work before they go in. Because as a so-called black man, you know, as an Israelite man, you gotta fight the world, man. And if you got a so-called black woman, you know, if you're dealing with Eve, you get out for work from fighting corporate America, and you gotta go fight your wife too. You gotta, she gonna start some shit with you. She gonna nitpick with you about something. You know, man, if you in this truth, man, it's, it's, it's really good. It's a, if you don't have a woman, that's, that's a good thing. You know, you can focus. You can focus more, you know what I'm saying, you know? You know, the Apostle Paul, uh, you know, which which is one of our, our he was one of our forefathers in this truth, a great man. You know what I'm saying? Legendary. He said that he wished it as that every man was as himself. You know, the Apostle Paul wasn't worried about dealing with no woman. Hey, he was all about Yahweh Bash and Yahweh Shai. He's back here in the reincarnation as well, man, today. And he's in this truth. You know? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, man. The prophets of old are back today in their lot. Hey, Ezra's, you know, Ezra's, uh, 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 Daniel, 
know what I'm saying? They're back here today in their lot. You know? I'm going to go ahead and close out. You know, I, uh, I want to give all praise, all that glory due unto Yahweh, Alahayanawa, Bahashem, Habashiaki, Hausha. The double honors again to my elders and apostles, the great hills, long teachers, and well and the Some blessings to the whole collect. You know, Lord willingness is edifying. And uh, until the next one, I say Shalom.